Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back to Dungeon Tycoon. Alright, this was a pretty good episode we had last time. We got pretty, pretty fire. So, I think what we're going to do this today is reconfigure a few things there and make it, uh, make it towards my final plan. Right, can I move this one here as well? So it doesn't fit there. That one is a by seven, but I don't have a seven. We don't have sevens. Sevens, sevens aren't a thing. All right. Um, eight by six, and then I'd be off one square. That makes a pretty small room, though. I can go the 6x12 and do it just a corridor. <clears throat> and then that could give them like a rest area. We're going to have them come in. They're going to go this way or obviously this way. And then we got the four rooms. We'll make this into a rest area. Then we'll have them come back this way. This will be another rest area. And then they can continue on the adventure the opposite way. And then it should end up pretty much all the same on both sides I think so I think that'll be good and then eventually these rooms here instead of having it go straight across they'll loop back up and go around and then connect here again so that they can form a loop it's gonna be weird but I think I got it I got it done so let me go and reconfigure this stuff here and uh, so we got this all put over here now let's throw down a spawner I guess it doesn't matter what direction he's really facing though, does it? Alright, let's go and see if we can get that last spider. Well, we didn't get the spider, so we got a wraith instead. That's fine. We'll use the wraith. We used all of our money, more or less, though, but that's, that's perfectly fine. We'll just put a chest in here. And then we'll hopefully try to keep getting the spider. But we'll uh, do a couple of days, we'll let it go by, and uh, we'll try to add some energy drinks into this one. Which probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Do that now, actually. I have a little bit of a theory. Alright, so we made $705 that round. I want to try to put in uh, the group table. So we'll spend... Well, they're both the same, right? So we'll just put in the fancy one put in a fancy group table. So what this is gonna do is four people are gonna have to come in, they're gonna form a group and they're gonna choose which side to go on together. Now, my theory is that if the guys are staying alive longer, we'll make more money and we'll be able to upgrade, upgrade faster. And we're gonna have a lot less deaths, but we do have 308 souls backed up right now. So let's try that and see what happens. And the guys are gonna come in, they're gonna sit down and they're gonna wait. The guys come in fast enough that they are going to hit four pretty quick. There we go, group formed. Everybody's going to go buy potions and stuff. So this is going to be a good place to have lots of vending machines if you're going to do it that way. So these I might end up moving here and putting another mob here instead. Alright, let's see how we did. Oh, we got the uh, wood... Uh, more wood, wood ornaments and decorations. Nice, nice. 635, so maybe not. Maybe we didn't make as much. Interesting. All right, so we got healing wells that we can put here and there. Uh, let's go with the wood decorations one since we never really did those ones. Interesting, interesting. Do I... take these things here? And then we put a mob here instead. Make all of our money here at the beginning and over here. And the groups were going all over the place. They 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 were they weren't following a circle. Um, I I don't think the the AI really knows how to do it. They're just expecting you to go to route A and then come back. They're not really expecting you to go multiple choice. It's kind of screwing up with them. So um, let's put in another spawner here. 
Screw it. Put the one there. We'll put a chest here. And then let's go see if we can get a cave spawn. Spider. Come on. Ah! Damn it. We'll take the, the goblin, I guess. There we go. That's good. All right, let's try that and see uh, how that performs. Yay! Wood ornaments number one. Good stuff. A shelf and a barrel. Awesome. Yeah, I'm really thinking it's better without the table. Honestly. I think it's way better without the table. Oh, we just made five, 500 bucks, though. That's pretty good. Um, so, what do we got next here? Light sources, healing wells. Both light sources. Okay, so do we... We should save up more money. Tried to get the spider and I failed. So I wasted all of our money. <laughs> Alright, no big deal. So we'll uh, let a couple of days go by. And we'll gain some money. And then we'll... Uh, I guess try to get uh, the next set of mobs. We'll unlock these ones here. We'll unlock these ones here and we'll start getting those types of mobs. And I'll keep trying later on to get that spider. Nice, nice. Now we get some more lighting opportunities. Crystals and candles. Nice. What's next here? Go with the healing one. Screw it. All right, in here we got more heat, lighting, more stuff to throw on the ground to make it look nice. As a matter of fact, let's start uh, upping our star rating a little bit here. So let's go into here and start destroying all of these lights and we'll upgrade the lights. So we're gonna go with the iron sconce. Um, the crystal ore is probably the most uh, best one for beauty anyways um it gives you five light level this one gives you a five light level as well but we're gonna go with these ones because they cost less uh so we'll just put one on every room there we go so now we got one on every room let's try to maybe what else let's upgrade some of these chests maybe and start making them the these ones so we were able to upgrade four chests anyways. Uh, that's not bad. You do get your $200 back, so it helped to continue the, the little thing. So this is going to add more loot into the in there if the monsters drop more loot. So let's go with that. That also brings up our star popularity rating a little bit because we're starting to make things look nicer. So as we go on, well, I think we'll do a little bit of upgrading to get our star up rating up. I think we attract more of these people and these people will have more money so they'll spend more money as well. Very nice. Now we got a healing uh, pool. These things are free healing so we really don't want them using these so we're probably not going to use them right away. Uh, improved camping. Okay, we definitely want more monsters. Um, let's go with the improved camping. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change these out one at a time. So that's the healing well. And we're going to start putting in the, the other spawners here. So we'll can that one. We'll put this one in. Alright, so we changed out these guys here. We'll just put in the mobs back in here. Uh, we'll go with a goblin here. Because he's a higher rarity one. Go with a slime here. That one there and we'll put the crawl in there doesn't matter which order we have them in doesn't really matter all right so let's give that a whirl this should help with a little bit more of a rarity boost and the mobs will start spawning back faster so people will have to fight more nice improved camping spots very cool, very cool. Alright, what's the next one? So that's done, that's done. We can go for the larger healing well. Let's finish off that section up there. 
All right, so now we got some more money. I guess we'll go around and we'll replace the rest of our traps. That's good. So now that we got all of these done, then people should be walking around a lot more and spending uh, their money that they're they're going they're getting, and they should backtrack a little less as well. So let's try to upgrade as many chests as we can right now. All right, so we are able to upgrade all of our chests. That's really good. We still have 225 bucks left. So I guess we can try to put in a few things that are gonna maybe give us some uh, beautification. So make sure that there's... Nice, another research complete. We got the larger uh, health pool one. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, well, we'll take the cash for sure. Uh, more visitors? Yes, most definitely we'll take the more visitors. So we'll work on that one next. Now, I think the next thing we should do is uh, let's start making our, our enemies a little bit uh, a little bit tougher. So we'll go one level on every, every enemy. This might help with our rarity rating too overall. And it will give the enemies uh, more loot. So, as you can see here, gains uh, well, an extra dollar. I guess it's better than nothing, right? Hmm. Yeah, alright, let's try that. Well, we haven't done that in a little while. Oh, we got a little bit more money. So, we now got two grand. Hmm. Let's go and start adding a little bit more beautification in here. So let's go with some paintings, I guess. So we'll throw a painting here, 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 here. Then we'll go with a tall painting. Throw one there. One here. That's pretty good. I have to throw a casket or two in here. There we go. And I guess we'll put a shelf in some of these. Not blocking a door. Pretty dungeony like. Uh, do, do, do what else we got here? It's not bad. Nothing really. I guess we'll put a, a lectern or something in there. Um, there'd be good. Another one there. Something's blocking the door. This thing right here. Move you out of the way. It's pretty good. Got a little bit of bacon left. Let's go with the wide paintings. And that's pretty much all, all our cash. All right, so that helped with our rating quite a bit, adding a little bit of decoration. So hopefully that starts attracting more of these guys. Um, and then we'll check out uh, maybe in upgrading our, our monsters again too as well. Nice, more people. That's exactly what we need. We need more people to get here. Two more visitors. Hey, two more visitors is two more people in here, right? Alright, so now we got a choice between these three. Let's go with the speed totem one. I still haven't put the totems out yet because they're like a bonus to the people and I don't want them like really succeeding 
on the app most average anyways um we do have a little bit more money i'm uh, wondering what if we should try to do uh, i'd like to get to the two star beautification one so maybe we should upgrade these All right, spent a little bit more money there trying to beautify it. Now let's uh, upgrade our monsters one more round. There we go. Oh crap, I hit that one twice. Oops. That's fine. So that should make things a little bit more harder for them. Now, I don't think beautification is really going to help now. Now I think we're at the point where we do need to expand. So the next couple of things I think we're going to work on is trying to add a few more rooms on this side over here and then go from there. Nice, we got the speed pedestal now. That's pretty cool. Alright, not bad. People are liking the loot. So another things we've gotten are the iron door. We just got a large painting. That's pretty good. So what's next on the list? So I guess we're coming down this way. We'll go with light sources. Now... I think, like I said, we're going to keep uh, saving up for money um, and try to expand. Very nice. More lightings, more lightings. Brazers and candle on. Okay, that's pretty good too. Uh, Sure, more monsters to kill. Yeah, I'm gonna be working on that. So, what have we got in here? So, we just got the wooden floors and the small, small, another small painting. Nice. Oh, more money. I'll take more money. Very good. So, we're up to. No, oh, we could probably maybe do something. This is another food thing that they can, they can have. Um, let's go with the stone prop ones. All right, let's see here about making new rooms. Let's take you and move you here. <clears throat> and eight by 10 here and here. No, something's not right, that's not right. <clears throat> there we go. Then we'll have these guys coming in this way. Where do we want them? We'll start them near the top, bring them down here, and then there should be room right here for a door. Nice. And we'll start them right here. That was a good choice. Right by the painting. I guess we'll have to move that painting. There you go. And then now they can get out that way and into there. Now we just need two more mobs in here. Um, we're not going to be able to afford that right away. <clears throat> so we'll just leave those rooms blank, I guess, for now. We'll just put some lighting in there. Uh, yeah, well, I seem to be doing it all on that side anyways. There you go. At least add some lighting. There you go, and we'll just uh, start it off. Yeah, another research complete. hammering through these, man. That's pretty good. Gargoyles and stone fountains and stuff. That's pretty good. Sick. So now we start getting into the traps. So now we can start laying traps down for them all, which 
which is kind of interesting. Let's go for the burger one. Um, now, we should at least try to put at least one in. And then the iron chest. And then we'll go choose a new mob. Oh, I'm missing 10 bucks. Oh, no way. Hmm. Maybe I could sell something for 10 bucks. There you go. Like I said, let's go get a new mob. <laughs> Damn it. Still didn't get that other one. Oh, we'll take the wolf for now. We won't upgrade the wolf because we might uh, just trash him and see if we can get something else later on. I want to try to get like all the varieties. That's my goal. Alright, so I took some of the vending machines, I put them up here, and then I repurposed that guy over here. So that way we can try to spend some money throughout the, the dungeon. And hopefully they'll encourage them to walk around a little bit more. So they notice they're staying around here in this corner a lot. And they're not really going this way towards like the rest spot at the end. Alright, so now we got the goblin grill. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, reinforced door. Nice, nice. Alright, what's the next research? Alright, I'll take more monsters. Hell yeah. Uh, poison traps? Let's go with poison traps. Alright, so I had a little bit of epiphany. You notice how this front door has, like, you know, a symbol? And then the back door does not. Well, the boss door kind of works like that. So if I were to use the boss door, you could put this here and it'll make this room like a boss boss room. I don't know if it shows it on there. Oh no, see uh, yeah, because look at the, the, the way the, the symbol is facing, right? I'll put it on damn, that door right there. So you can see this side has a symbol on it but if I flip it it changes this to be the boss room. So I'm wondering if we do this with the dungeon door instead. So we we'll remove this, take this, and make like that the start of the dungeon. Go like this. Remove this door. Oh. And go back to the dungeon door. put that at the end if they'll go through this door here first because it's like the beginning of the dungeon as like it's like this anyways just a just a thought I want to try that no <laughs> they don't care about the door <laughs>
traps. Now we got poison traps. Very good, very good. Alright, so what do we get here? Got more money and a tall painting. Another different variety of painting, I guess. Alright, so now we got more souls. We'll go with the fire trap. And then like we'll kinda work our way down this way and we'll get the respawn. That's like a thousand thousand bucks. It's pretty expensive. Alright, so now I think we should get ready for the next uh, two rooms here. Right, eight by eight. Go to our next room here. Okay, so we have a lot more space on this side. Oh, because okay, two eight by eight rooms that I have here. All right, so it's the same, it's the same on both sides. All right, so we'll let that build up, and we'll make some more money, and we'll slowly add uh, guys to that. <clears throat> so there's our poison trap. Let's go summon two new monsters. Uh, we'll take a bat. take those two. At least these two are rarities. They're more rare than the wolf, so I'd bring uh, more crap up here. Anyways, what else we got in here? Oh, the goblin group. Alright, so let's keep going. And now we got poison traps. Or fire traps, sorry. Poison. Jesus Christ. All right, so what's next? Uh, I guess we're gonna have no choice but to go this one. I think that one's gonna split off down here afterwards. All right, that's cool, that's cool. All right, so I really noticed that they're really, really conjugating like hardcore over here and I don't understand why. Like, the, I don't, I don't understand. And they're really favoritizing the going the left way as opposed to going the right way, which is very strange. Very, very strange. Not really sure uh, <laughs> what I can do about that. The thing about uh, just deleting this door. Story. There. Just to see if that changes anything. Probably not, but. Nope. Still going left. Why? And then they get stuck over here. And they just go back and forth between the vending machines and sometimes they'll venture this way. Not often. And then they just backtrack. And see, he's like coming all the way back here to look for a mob when there was one right here. The only way to force them through is deleting that door, but it de defeats the purpose of trying to give them multiple multiple access points right let's see some make it over here not many and then they start to backtrack and then they don't get to visit all this area over here which is very strange i don't get it and then there's like more vending machines over here too so that's why i want them to go that way and then see they'll backtrack instead of going over here even though, like, this is a farther walk to detect that mob than this one over here. I don't, I don't understand. They got, like, a hankering for the left-hand side, which is very crazy. <clears throat> very, very crazy. I'm gonna keep going. Well, we're gonna keep trying to figure out, like, uh, how we can give them multiple choice. Because that's my goal, is I want to try to give them multiple choice and not have to 
to backtrack, right? I want to see if they can figure out some kind of a loop that uh, I can get them to go on, which would be kind of great. Alright, so let's keep going. Okay, oops. So that gave us the uh, the Soul Reaper one. I kind of clicked through that pretty damn quick. Uh, we got the respawn idol. We're just going to keep going down with the slow traps. We'll do this one last. Alright, so now we should have enough money to get uh, new mobs in here. So let's try to move this door over here. First things first. Uh, let's put it at the very bottom. Then we'll grab another door here. We'll put it in the middle for now. And then I'll look on this side. Probably better. And then that access that room. That just gets rid of that. So we'll put a mob here. And a mob here. Grab our lighting. The light there and the light there. That's pretty damn good. Alright, did we get mobs for that? Yes, we did. So we'll put the bat in there. That sounds pretty good. So now, we just need treasure chests. Because, you know, what room is good without a treasure chest, right? And then, let's try to do a little bit of nice stuff in here. Here, I have a door there. We'll put a shelf here. There. Uh, maybe go with uh, painting? Oh no, we don't have enough money for painting. Let's go with a couple of skulls then. There, put a skull here. Here. There, perfect. Awesome. Let's give that a whirl. Oh, now we got the slow one. A slow trap. That's pretty good. And they're still favoritizing this side. They'll come in, they'll taste a little bit of what we're here, and they're like, oh, no, no, we gotta go back. <laughs> it's just like, I don't understand. I really don't understand. I'm trying to give them freedom of choice, and it's not going very well. There we go. Got some uh, wall mural. And the next one is abundance. Increase your stockpile of camping spots. Sure. We'll give her that a try. We'll give that a try. Hmm. I'm. I'm. <clears throat> I don't know. I really don't know. See, and like, if I delete this door, like, they're just gonna go all the way through, come back, go all the way back, and come back, and then that'll be it, right? That's like the only way to force them to go on this side, but. Yeah, my experiment isn't going very well, but we'll keep going. We'll keep trying. Nice. And the last. Why is the last upgrade? What do we get here? We got another wide painting. More money, stone bricks, pretty good, pretty good. See, we're climbing this pretty quick and I'm not even cashing them in like until the end of the, the end of the rounds. All right, so I'm gonna leave those two for now and we're gonna jump off on, we're gonna start doing the underground prop ones. All right, so we got enough money to do a couple more rooms. So let's get our eight by 10 going on here, oops. And then our 8x8. Eight eight. And we'll just repurpose this door. Beautiful. Put a door here. That's good. And we'll get our spawners. That's good. Um, I can only afford to get one right now, I guess. A 
and even then we can't really place them yet, so. Um, let's go with that guy. Yay, summon 50 spawn monsters. Awesome. Alright, we won't put him in yet because there's no loot to acquire from him yet, but uh, it'll get them to walk around maybe a little bit more. There you go. We got the first upgrade in the new area. Just a bunch of stuff decorations, which is pretty good. Decorations is always nice. Takes some more money. That's always nice too. All right, so bigger pockets. This is gonna be pretty good. That's gonna be good for us. People will spend more money, which would be good. That's exactly what we need. Uh, let's go summon a new monster. Damn it. I guess we'll take another spider. Alright, so let's go put this guy here. And we'll go put that one here. Then we'll put a chest down. Here. Here. We need some lighting. Um, ah, we'll leave it dark. We'll leave it dark. And then the last room we have is just to put a restroom over here. And then we'll see how this little circuit works. And if it doesn't work whatsoever, then we'll... Next episode, what we'll do is we'll redesign the whole thing. So that way they go into an actual, um, an actual pattern. And I have another idea for that as well. We'll do 12 by 12 rooms going all the way up to top. And then we'll do like a loop. They'll come on this side. They'll come down. We'll go do this loop. They'll come back into another 12 by 12 room. Or, you know, and we'll just have a loop up, something like that. Anyways, uh, we'll do this one more round and we'll check it out. Nice, nice. Now they have more money to spend, which is pretty good. I like that. I like they have more money to spend. Alright, what's next here? I'll definitely take the more monsters. And we'll take the more visitors. Alright, so I have one last idea that I'd like to try. So, these vending machines, I want to put them closer to the door. That way when they come in, they're over here. And they might want to go to this door more then be over here so we'll try that and see how that works out <laughs> what else are we get in here man we got a lot of stuff eh that's cool all right let's try this out nice nice we get some more visitors is i think just one yeah one more visitor one more is better than none. Alright, so we got bigger pockets. We'll go for the bigger pockets again so that we have more money. Uh, what we're going to do over here is we're going to grab our 6x12 room. We'll do end up doing like... Yeah, like that. Alright, we'll repurpose our door. We'll buy a new door. There we go, that's good. We'll give them a resting spot. We'll just go with the cheapo right now. And then we'll see if that helps. Because they should be not somewhere to rest and then come through. And then hopefully, they've still been turning around here though. Even though they go here and there's a mob there, they still turn around and walk this way. But I'm thinking it has to do with fatigue. That's why they're not really, you know, going around. But we'll try it. We'll try it. Yeah. So we got more money. More money. Alright, so they pretty much well proved me that uh, the AI is just dumb and they always like staying on the left. No matter what I do, they just, they will not come over here. 
So next episode, what we'll do is we'll destroy everything and we'll revamp it. And we'll get them to follow that one simple path and then come back on that one simple path. And that's the way I guess we'll have to do it. We try to give them freedom of choice. <laughs> Apparently it confuses the shit out of them and they stay on the left. <laughs> Typical. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like, subscribe, peace, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.